I'm not gonna lie, AI has completely changed the way I work in motion design. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can design style frames in under 5 minutes and build them directly inside After Effects. For this tutorial, I will use in ChatGPT along with Google Nano Banana to speed up the entire process. Now, let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, which is AE Juice. With this year's Black Friday, the folks over at AE Juice decided to offer an incredible 98% off on their products. Today, I want to highlight the I Want It All bundle, which gives you access to more than 80 packs and over 10,000 assets. The best part is that it's all pre-built right inside of the After Effects and Premiere Pro, so you can import the assets with just one click. The quality of these assets is seriously impressive, from the sound design to texture, AI effects and much more. This offer is only valid until the end of the year. And with my link, you can grab the full bundle for just $149 instead of over $9,000. Don't miss this opportunity, it is one of the best deals you ever find. Alright, here we are inside of the chat GPT and we want to create our own style frames with the help of AI. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to define the role for the chat GPT. What I mean by that is that either you want to ask chat GPT to be your graphic designer or your animator and gives you an idea for your animation or the design. For this case, I want the chat GPT to be the graphic designer. So I'm just going to start with, you are my graphic designer. And this is a simple prompt. And the next thing that we need to do is that we need to tell the chat GPT exactly what we want from the AI. So I want basically the chat GPT to design the style frames in a way that is animatable in Adobe After Effects. So I'm just gonna write this prompt as well. And on the next step, I want to give the AI more information so it gets what I have in my mind. And basically, I'm just gonna tell that I'm gonna send you a few reference. And now I'm just gonna type the next line of prompt. The last thing I want to mention to the ChatGPT is that since I made too many style frames already with ChatGPT, I want to emphasize that this is a tutorial, so it's treated as a standalone version. So this is just mandatory. I'm going to just open a parenthesis and, and I'm going to say that this is a tutorial, so do not confuse them with other styles that I have made. And then let's hit enter. All right, now it is time to upload the references. To do that, I'm just going to hit the plus button in here and in add photos and files. I'm just going to simply choose these style frames that I have already searched. And then I'm just going to upload it. And then what the chat GPT does at this point is that it's going to break all of these styles that I have uploaded and it will uh, basically break down the component into smaller pieces so it understands what we want to do. Now on the last step, if you have a color brand, you're going to just upload your color brand. So in that way, you have a unique and cons consistent design for your animations. So I'm just going to upload the color brand. But before that, I'm just going to tell the ChatGPT, here's the brand color. And please don't use any color outside of this palette. And here we go. All right, now everything is locked. Now it is time to work on the script. So imagine that we have a script and the first line uh, says that editing is like cooking. So this is a really familiar sentence in the world of editing. So we're just gonna say that the first line is editing is like cooking. And then we're gonna hit enter and the chat GPT is gonna just break down uh, the style and what it wants to design. So it's super important to read it if you see that 
any anything that you don't like, you're mainly going to change it. But before that, I'm just going to tell the ChatGPT the ratio that it wants to create. Right now, it already knows it because I already created these style frames in 1080 by 9020. But you need to mention if it, if this is your first time working with ChatGPT or any other AI model to design it in a dimension that you want. But let's say that uh, design it. So as you see, this is the first style frame ChatGPT generated for us and it looks super good. Now this is where you can tweak and modify your design. So for example, if you want to do a symmetry design, you can say that, okay, design it in symmetry. Now, as you see, the second reference doesn't really look good for our animation. And the reason for that is I didn't give the chat GPT enough prompt or enough uh, explanation so it understands and follows the path. So basically what I want to do is that I want to create a symmetry design for this pot animation. And to do that, it's just fairly simple. I'm just going to say that I want a symmetry design. So put a pot. So put one of the at top corner and one at the bottom corner. And then on the next step, what we have, and then on the next step, what I want is that I want to push the text at the middle. So I'm just going to tell that and push the text to the middle and balance the composition with the remaining elements. So as you see, it is a bit better compared to second reference that we have made, but uh, the elements does not look good. And this is one of the fewest problem with the chat GPT that it will not create consistent designs over, you know, one or two style frames. But the good thing is that I like the overall composition. Everything feels balanced. Now we need to separate the elements and we can import it into After Effects in order to animate it. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do is that, for example, I like this part in here and I'm going to save this image. And now you have two ways. You can either use the Photoshop or you can use the Google Nano Banana in order to separate the references. And in order to do that, I'm just going to use the Google Nano Banana. So I'm just going to go into Gemini.Google.com. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just simply going to import the image in here. And the prompt is super simple in here. So first, let me just collapse this menu. And then the prompt is super simple. I'm just going to say extract the pot. But one of the issues with Nano Banana is that it cannot give you a transparent background. So we need to do a quick trick in here. The way I'm going to resolve this issue is that I'm just going to put it in a complete green background. So in that way, I can remove it either with the Photoshop or either in After Effects with using the key light effect. So I'm just going to uh, say that extract the pot and put it in a green background. And as you see, the exact pot was uh, ex extracted and it, it's placed on a green background, which is exactly what, what I want. So I'm just going to download the image now and this is basically what we wanted for the first style frame. And now let's just go into After Effects. And now once we are inside of After Effects, everything is super simple. So I'm just going to get back to the references that I want to recreate, which is this one. I'm going to download it. I'm going to place it in here. And then let's just push it into the After Effects. Also, I'm just going to push the image that I have downloaded from the Gemini into this After Effects software. And now let's just create a new composition. The width and height is set on 1080 by 9020, which is exactly what we want. And I'm going to just bring the reference in here. 
Let's just rescale it a bit until it here looks good. And then I'm going to just bring the part in here. And then what we can do is that we can just open the effects and preset tab by adding the key light effect. You can just simply remove the green background from the pot. As you see, we have some small edges in here. We can just open the screen matter and then we can just remove it and then we have it. You can just simply remove the Gemini logo by creating a mask and setting it on invert. The rest is super simple. We just now need to recreate. So let's just give it a background like this and then placing elements on top in here. We can just simply create the style frames that we want super fast. So as you see, we have made this design less than 50 minutes with the help of AI. And as you can see, it will make your work much, much easier. Here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Goodbye.